bitches. Bad bitches with Molly and Aquafin. Money don't get nothing. Niggas don't feel you when they see it. My whole hood loves it. But now that nigga wanna touch me, I ain't worried about nothing. Nigga ain't worried about nothing. Nigga ain't worried about nothing. Nigga ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing. who still has the legs to be able to give the movement that's absolutely necessary tonight against the clear role in the fight. But in the center of the ring, it's like a ridge going through the ring. We've talked about it for to do that all through the fight. Yes, of course. And that's Broner in his past performances, getting off to a rather, not necessarily slow start, but takes the first few rounds to see what his opponent comes on after he's seen what his opponents can do. What we saw in his last fight against Broner utilized Made famous by the likes of James Tony and Penny Norton. As well. Looks for the lead left hook that catches nothing but air. Bounce out in the exit. Just past the minute mark of the second round. Malinaji attacking the body. Two combination. There's a nice straight right hand that tags Malinaji. Fight. Focusing more on conditioning than strength for this fight as they continue to throw leather. Malinaji attacking the body while Broner able to pick him off upstairs with a straight right. Interesting, fascinating fight already so far. Very entertaining start. Three punch combination culminating with a left hook to the body by Malinaji. And they're talking to oh, each other. You know, the surprise, it. surprise. <laughs> Shocking, huh? Broner will win that battle. Because... There's a nice left hook by Broner backing up Malinaji and actually bull rushing him into the ropes. Again, sticks the jab. Misses with the shoulder roll. Has the high guard. Right up. Blocked by Broner, who continues to reiterate, You can't hit me. Double left hook by the challenger. Left hook to the body and a left hook upstairs by Broner. 23 year old challenger looking to win his third championship. Malinaji attacking the body with the jab. Flicks one upstairs. Three punch now putting together the combinations and landing on Broner for the Broner defending as well. For the first time, Malinaji and Lowe's a blue. And of course, Broner has nuclear power in both hands. And Malinaji, the, the number of punches strong and landed twice as many. Very last one, two this upstairs, round. under 30 seconds through four rounds. Let's see what we think. Uh, I have got Malinaji ahead as to Steve Farwood, and Bernard, you have it even. Steve, uh, why is Malinaji ahead by on your score? Oh. Al, uh, he's pecking and poking, but he's landing. Yep. Even I if Malinaji's on the ropes and in the corner, it's not like he's getting peppered by Broner. So this is the, I mean, it's very, very close. There's a straight, the jab that pops Malinaji's head back, and Broner now getting busier, right uppercut just misses. Jab, and Broner now getting... He took it, but Broner's only throwing like, I'll say one or well, two punches. And hit not anymore. Malinaji going back to work, and Broner saying, is that all? Fantastic. Five rounds thus far here in Brooklyn as we go to the sixth. The clash of power versus boxing, and we've seen that. Percent. That's also what you expect. Crisp counter right by Broner. Misses with that right. This fight has unfolded, Bernard. Well, I'm not surprised because Paulie's wearing down and Broner's hitting with clean, hard edging ahead. And Steve and I have it uh, even, but clearly the momentum in this fight, Swinaji, can never be questioned. We talked about Plenty of heart. Yeah, I fought the cutoff fight with that orbit. He's coming forward. Paulie's not a big puncher. He doesn't respect Paulie punch. And this is where the fight changes out. And Broner putting together a combination. In their front. Jab, triple, and the right uppercut. Another straight right hand backs Malinaji up. It's Broner now along the ropes. Malinaji using the jab. And Broner escapes. And now on the attack, using the fancy footwork, but Malinaji now trying to harness him. Looking to become a three division champion. At the age of 23 years and 11 months. <laughs> It won't be a record, though, should he defeat Malinaji. Wilfred Benitez accomplished the triple crown at 22 years. Somebody has to win. Oh, and Malinaji's head gets pumped back with that straight right. Pretty well. I mean, he's he's pushing his right hand's pretty good. There's a right uppercut that jacked the jaw. Malinaji, another right hand. But Malinaji comes forward, has Broner on the ropes. Lands the right. 
to the problem. But Left hook by Malinaji. But Paulie is throwing volumes of punches, and Broly is throwing hard punches. How do you score this fight? Well, there's a couple of scoring right hands, Bernard. And there's another right hand by Broder and Malinaji now putting up. Malinaji is taking so much punishment. But Malinaji continues to throw punches and bunches. He has been very active, and even in the last round, uh, Malinaji threw a lot of punches. But Broder is landing so much oh. harder punches. Well, Malinaji, though, taking the fight to Broder in the center of the ring here. There's a left that you can hear. And but Malinaji fighting valiantly off the ropes. He's landing some very nice shots. Broder looking to land one more big shot and does with the left hook. It's the first minute of the 11th. Matching punch for punch though with Malinaji. He's thrown exactly the same amount. Oh, there's a big left. Left hook connects. Malinaji goes to the body again. Under a minute left in the 11th round. And the welterweight champion, a prohibitive underdog, has to be pretty pleased thus far with his performance. He's, he's hanging in there against Adrian Broder. I think Broder's ahead in this fight. But and his power is the big issue. And the left hook now. Yeah, tasting more of that power. And the right hand connects by Broder. Counter left hook by Malinaji. Jab by Malinaji. But finds himself in the corner. Broder lands the right hand. And then the double left. One to the body and one to the... With Adrian Broder while he has controlled the number of rounds and landed big power punches. I have Paul winning four rounds in this one. And the challenger imposing their will and skill on the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Broder, the double left hook to the face. Malinaji with the jab. Another jab by the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Glenn Feldman scores about 115 to 113 in favor of Adrian Broner. Judge Tom Miller sees it 115 to 113 in favor of Pauli Malinaji. And Judge at ringside, Tom Shrek sees it 117 to 111 in favor of the winner and the new WBA Welterweight Champion of the World, Adrian, the Problem Broner. Final thought. Any regrets about anything that went on in the pre-fights and all the news conferences? Negative. I'm good. I beat Polly. I left with his belt and his girl. Adrian, congratulations on winning the title. Polly, come on in. Percy, dog. Don't stop. Don't stop. Hey, stop. Stop. I'm stop. just saying, you lost. I know, I know, I lost. But, but don't, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, hold on, wait, wait. Don't brag so, about so taking my side piece. Talk. Don't brag about taking my side piece, though. That's my side piece. You don't get laid. All right, all right. 